Welcome to the Fantasy Back Porch Hour. We are Lil D. Howdy howdy. Hakuna Matata brother. Means no worries. Damn straight. Yeehaw. That's right. He is Sleeves the Fantasy Alchemist. I am Bear. This is Outlaw. Let's do it. So, in this segment, we're going to preview the upcoming week three matches in the 12 team Keeper League. Okay. The first okay. match we're going to look at is Morningwood versus the Regulators. All right. Regulators are 2 0 versus Morningwood 1 and 1. Yeah. A few key notes in this one. We got, uh, for the Regulators, he's got two guys playing against Jacksonville and two guys playing against Oakland. All right. And that's a big reason that I think Regulators are going to be 3 0. I, I, I think so, too. It's over. I would agree. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Over. You know, I gotta say, I, I can see um, Tory Smith being the high scorer for Morningwood. It's gonna be that or Edelman. Yeah, Edelman. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Tampa Bay's already shutting down offenses. They shut down Drew Brees. Yeah, but and Tom Brady's good. already been shut down. So but, uh, Tom Brady hasn't started. Just saying. Well, he started. He just hasn't. Yeah, Tom he Brady's been shut down already. Tom Brady's going to get shut down again. I don't look at Julian Edelman having yeah, a huge game. I don't see anyone on Morningwood's team no. putting over 20 points. Goldson is going to be all over Edelman, and he's got nothing. Yeah. So, it's a clean sweep across the board. We all yeah. say regulators move to 3 I think so. All right. But, go Tim. Yeah. Next game we got up is the 1-1 one one Channel 4 News team and the 0-2 Wannabe Ballers. This game on paper looks very, very close. It does. It can, yeah. yeah. I mean, the the projections say Wannabe's going to win. Disagree? But, but they're saying Drew Brees is going to have a shitload of points. No. Yeah. I don't know. I, see, I, I can see Drew Brees having a bounce back game right now. Yeah, but... And as long as Eddie Royal continues on that momentum that he's riding, as long as Philip Rivers continues, Eddie Royal is going to continue... And I think that Wannabe might pull one out this week. Yeah, see, uh, Wannabe Channel can win. I, I think Wannabe could win, but he's basically, he's, what I see for him to win, McFadden needs to break open a big touchdown, and Julio Jones needs to be handled, not yeah. shut down, but handled by the Dolphins. And I don't know if either one of those are going to happen. To be Well, the Dolphins have already handled the Colts. Yes, but, but Reggie Wayne, although I love him, is still not Julio Jones. No. Channel 4 takes this game. I see Wannabe. All right. Good. Outlaw, your, your, your pick? I've already said it. I, right. I think that Wannabe is going th- to... I think he's going to come away from this one. And I say Channel 4. I, right. I, I can see Channel 4 winning this game. I do too. So, so, so we got 2-2. Two 2-2. And two. Two and two. Nice All game. Right. going to be fun. So the next game up is Greenlight District, who's 0-2, versus the 2-0 and Titties and Beer. Yeah. So let's start with you, Bear. Obviously, I have to say, my, my team's going to win. By looking at the matchups, I believe we're going to win, but it's still going to be close. All right. Outlaw? I like to take the uh, – I'm going to have to go with Greenlight District on this one because, granted, I see Stafford having a huge game. But as far as the running back situation goes, um, the Jets shut down Doug Martin, and C.J. Spiller is not a power running back like Doug Martin is. Jets have an answer for that. Way better. And – I really like Charles Clay for Greenlight District. Great pick. Yeah, I really like Charles pick. Clay there. I have to agree. Plus, Daryl Richardson and Tavon Austin, phenomenal. Getting better and better every week. I'm going with Greenlight District on this one. Little D? Well, I say you've got the better wide receiver core. Yeah. I, I think all over Greenlight's, Greenlight's got a better team. The Tangibles. The, I think Greenlight has okay. a better wide receiving core, though, because he's got A.J. Green and Victor Cruz. And look for Green to have a bounce back. It, it's, it's hard to bet against those two guys. But he's going to uh, – Greenlight's going to need both those guys to show up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think in the average – I don't know. This game, to me, is too close to call. I'd like to see Greenlight win. Sorry. But you're 2-0. and I think the consistency is what I was going for. Yes. Consistency yes. in the yeah, wide yeah. receiver core. Bear has the more consistent yes. wide so far. receivers. So but, far. But Greenlight has the bigger upside. Mm-hmm. So I would agree. It's a very yeah. close game. So overall, Bear obviously chooses himself. You chose Greenlight. I'm going with green light. And I'm going with green light. So three right. to one green light. Nice. Next game we got is Sinner Winner, who's one and one, versus the ref, who's two and oh. This game, you know, looks like another uh, pretty high scoring game, I would say. And on yeah. and on paper it looks like it could be a close game, but what I'm gonna yeah. go with is Peyton Manning's matchup against Oakland. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that could be He should be able to shred them. Yeah, it could so. be another seven touchdowns. The one game. thing the one thing he's gotta worry about the one thing Sinner's gotta yeah. worry about is they get up really early, really fast and they, they kinda just run the The other no. problem the other problem is that the ref has two receivers from 
Denver. Yep. Well, a receiver and a tight end, but realistically, two receivers. Tight ends when, when you really get into it. While it has potential to get you a lot of points, it also has potential to take away a lot of points. Yes. Because you're taking away from other wide receiver and tight end. We're also talking about. You a lot we're we're also but, talking about Peyton Manning, though, and he's got the potential to spread the ball around, and he could favor one over the other at any given point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I also see from the ref that Rodgers is not going to get the points that he's got in the last two weeks. No, not against... He, he's still going to get his points. Not against Cincinnati. He's still going to get his points, but he's not going to get those 30 those Not Not Peyton Manning points, points. no. No. Overall, well, my, my prediction... And when you look at when you look at the wide receivers, though, for both teams, both the, the wide receiving core on both teams can match up evenly. Yeah, but see, I still think Sinner's got the better of the two. Yeah. Right, and, and Brandon Marshall. Right, and more consistent, definitely. Yes. More reliable. And what, what it comes down to is the running back situation. Can Frank Gore show up, and is Darren Sproles going to have a typical Dar- Darren Sproles game? Well, I, I think he's... Right. Go ahead. No. Was it? So, sure. overall, who... who? Uh, well, I was just real quick. I think the that uh, the, the running backs for the rep are going to be solid, but they're not going to be great. McCoy is going to show up. Right. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Bradshaw is not going to be there. No. So, I think they're going to watch each other out. Uh, overall, I see center winner pulling this one off. I, I think agree. so as well. I agree. I agree. So, 4-0 yep. no no. for center winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So next game up, we, we got the Midget Pirate Hookers, who, who luckily is playing in space. You bastard. So Little D, what do you see in this game? Well, I'm seeing Midget Pirate Hookers pulling away with a fairly decent-sized win. I say Calvin Johnson is the one to put up the biggest points for, uh, for face, easily. Whereas Midget Pirate Hookers has gotten so many more options over here. So many more options. Yes. See, I agree. See, in order for Face to win, not only does his studs need to show up, but he needs people like Felix Jones and DeMarco Murray exactly. to show up. Yeah. And no. that, that's a big Felix ask. Felix Jones. Uh, that's a big ask. Titty? No. Sorry, uh, I there? agree. I agree. Yeah. You, you see... I hate to say it, but yeah. And But luckily, I beat him last week, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that. And again, even though the projections don't look good, I never pay attention to projections. I'm going to go ahead and ride Philip Rivers' momentum. Yeah. As long as he's doing, as long as he's performing, I'm going to continue to ride him out. All right. So we, all four of us, say Midget Pirate Hookers win yes. this game. Yeah. Heard that. So the last game we have to, re, to to preview for this upcoming week is the Douche Nozzles, who are one and one versus the one and one Chalk Dust Torture. Outlaw, well, what do you see in this game? I can see Chalk Dust Torture. You. Yes. Coming away with this one. I hope. Uh, I can see Douche Nozzles going down. I mean, his star player this week is going to be Jamal Charles, a- as is typical. And I can see his second highest scoring player being his kicker. Oof. <laughs> That's a big statement there. Bear? I agree. You're going to take the game. I I don't have it ever. I will do it, but I don't ever like to having two people from the same team. And he has two guys, two teams. Yeah. yeah. Just don't like they underperform, you're screwed. Will be? I think if you've learned anything from fantasy back porch sports here, the thing you've learned is not to look at projections. Yes. Because sure. Deuce Nozzles is projected to win this game by 15 points. Not going to happen. No. Talk to us, Torture's taking it. Yep. See, I agree. You know, especially with, with my upgrade. Really? But yeah, I do. I do. Now, again, I'm playing my brother, so I, I have to agree with that. Um, I, I can't see Peterson having another fumble. Yeah, I, no. Geo is going to show up. He is. He's, he's going to have another good week. In fact, no. I think he's going to get more touches this week. Oh, than God, last week. Yeah. I don't know if the two touchdowns are going to be there, no. but the more touches are going to be there. Now, okay. granted, Cleveland does have a stout run defense, as they've proven, but well, their defense is going to spend so much time on the field, yeah. they're going to get tired. And that trade just totally rot their entire Yeah, world. they're 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 done. They're yeah. screwed. Yeah. So, uh, with the addition of Andy Luck, yeah. I, I think that this – and Bolden's not playing Richard Sherman. This still. I, I see me taking this game. Oh, without yeah. doubt. So we go 4-0 oh, no for the Chalk Test Torture. Without yeah. question. Yes. Absolutely. Without so doubt. those are the games for the upcoming Week 3 of the 12-team Keeper League. Stay frosty, my friends. <laughs>